Ooh. Thank you, Brandon. This seal, like the members of your class, has a new place in Eagle Brook's history. Seven, eight of you are celebrating graduation with families here in the Dell, while eight of your classmates are with their families celebrating too, but in their homes. You are the class that has spent a year of learning, sitting in classrooms at school, and in bedrooms at home. In September, we had to connect your smiling eyes with well-known names, Mason, Eduardo, Kai, Fernando, Wyatt, Roman. We heard your familiar voices behind masks asking us, do you recognize me? And then guess, Austin, Gratian, Aiden, Toby, Alex, Stan. At meal times, masks came off and we saw your faces, laughing in groups of two, four, five, eating meals out of boxes. Ian, Tommy, Mateo, Jose, McLean, Nick, Bo, Jesus. We saw how responsible you were when you shouldered new responsibilities. William, Terrence, Thomas, Eric, Rodrigo. You reminded younger students that a mask belongs over the nose, not under and that doors with signs that spell O-U-T should not be entered. You were individuals who cared. Meredith, Dylan, Gunn, Justin, Richard. You told us to use less water and turn off lights. You said thank you to the nurses for your COVID tests and thank you to the teachers who were pushing food carts at meals. You cared that careless words you used in conversation could diminish others. Most of all, you cared to keep school safe. Gar, James, Patrick, Diego, Fede. Your voices a little muffled came out from behind the mask. You said, there's a whole building full of beds ready, ready for the COVID attack. We're wiping down everything to prevent the COVID attack. Zoom allowed remote students to be part of your classes. Jude, Jason, Ray, Matthew, Tony, Michael, Daniel, Alan, you could see and talk to everyone. At home night, Rowan, Kenneth, Zoe, Will, Teo, Jet, your advisor, advisors heard the nostalgia in your voice, voices. You said, my first year here, everyone was talking about Fortnite and I couldn't join in because I didn't know what Fortnite was. Another said, remember the bus rides to games, the jokes, the music, kids having fun? Another, I never thought that COVID would change so much. Sports remain most, most look forward to part of every day. Alistair, Jose, Jack, Ollie, Eddie. You talked about your fun. You said, we ran cross country for miles through the scenic New England. We, we rode bikes on, in the Eagle Brook wo Woods on trails with awesome names. Donut Blaster, the emotional roller coaster, Bruiser, Moose tracks is the most difficult. In the winter, after the strict quarantine was lifted, you headed outdoors ready for an Eagle Brook winter. David, HD, Edu, Daphne, Alvin, Everett. You told your parents about the fun. You said, we rode up the lift one by one, waiting at the top to ski with friends, making sweeping turns so we wouldn't catch COVID. We went sledding down the ski hill on a giant flamingo, nine feet tall. Another said, I built a giant snowman. I almost did a 360, but I wiped out. We were super fortunate. Two outdoor rinks. We played hockey, three on three, so we wouldn't catch COVID. Your teachers added their voices to yours, working on new ways for them to teach and, teach and you to learn, sometimes outside under tents, Thad, Max, Calvin, Farouk, Marco, Michael. The whole school marveled at your talent. A gallery full of art in every medium, outstanding delegates at the Model UN Conference, a prize-winning short story, a science fair. And on Martin Luther King Day, in your history class, you spoke out for social justice, connecting Dr. King's words to the present unrest and to the past origins of slavery. Each morning in your assemblies, live before a small audience and streamed around campus and the world for everyone, Santiago, Andrew, Brandon, Alfonso, Carlos, Anderson, you took us into your lives, told us of personal struggles, the people, 
and places that you love. What's great about being at Eagle Brook, you said, is that it's easy to try new things. In fact, it's hard to end a year not doing something new. Another said, I'm the third member of my family to attend Eagle Brook. I love photography, I love to read, I'm a football player and a lacrosse player, and I have dyslexia. Another, in this pandemic has taught me, if this pandemic has taught me anything, it is that I can survive sudden abrupt change and that life is easier when you have people you can laugh and be yourself with. Before coming to Eagle Brook, I was a troublemaker, but here I work really hard to do the right thing. And another, of course, I didn't like having my technology being taken away at night. I was used to playing games, sometimes all night. It took me a while, but I began to understand the reasons. Technology has made the school year possible. Ming, Nate, Anthony, Austin, Easton, Owen. The technology that excited you was a tech you did for fun. We played PlayStation and watched TikTok. I went viral on Instagram when I fell in the pond along with the fish that I backhanded into the water. You imagined at Eagle Brook, you imagined at Eagle Brook in its second century robots roaming dormitory hallways, stopping to give extra help in math or to chat in, in Spanish. All year, you helped e lead Eagle Brook in new directions. This is your legacy and we bid you fond for a farewell, full of gratitude, for each and every one of you, and to your parents who trusted us to keep you safe. We want them to know that you cared more for the welfare of our community than for your own desires and that you have matured beyond your years. It seems fitting that you presented us with the school's new seal, a bold young eagle flying high above our mountain, eyes on the future. We send you off, class of 2021, 86 young people, wings spread, citizens of the world, ready for the next adventure. The familiar beauty of this place will remain unchanged and always will walk with you. We love you.